What's happening, my people? So it's your boy Chess Jolivan, aka Smooth, back with another video. So today, what we're gonna be talking about is music review. This is Cyber. Few good things. I've been looking forward to this project ever since he uh, talked about it. Uh, maybe a few weeks ago, month and a half ago, or something. I seen it on the timeline or something. But man, been looking forward to this because the last one, uh, Care for Me, I think that was the name of it. A hey, phenomenal. To this day, I still bump that all the time. So I'm like, this one right here, this one right here is got to be shit. Because I'm pretty sure he, he probably done got better at his craft. He got more to talk about, better production, the lyrics and stuff. I'm like, oh, this about to be phenomenal. Let's see. So this is 14 songs, 48 minutes runtime. Let's talk about it. So it starts off, number one, free samples. Beautiful medley. And to me, it sounds like a mix of Andre 3000 and J. Cole. It talks about his family, history in Chicago and stuff. Like, it's, that's a backdrop for a lot of the album and stuff. But that's track one. It's like a, pretty much you can kind of almost say it's a loop. It's just like two minutes, so it's not the longest track. Number two, One Way or Every Nigga with a Budget. Boom Bap type, type joint, like... A little, a little more hype, a little more hype on them. Talking about the crib and Cali. Uh, I'm not too crazy about this one. I'm not too crazy about this one, to be honest. Like, just the, the vibe of it and just, the, oh, like, it's a little too rambunctious for me. <laughs> Whatever, that's not what I like Cyber for. Uh, number three, Survivor's Guilt featuring G Herbo. This is a, a hard joint, sound like a like an anthem. Big sounding record. I think, I don't know if this is a single or anything, but he did uh, release this. I don't know if they got a video for it. If, if so, I didn't see it. But I know they released this song the other day. Uh, it's alright, but I'm not too crazy about this one either. G Herbo, like, he, I don't know, sometimes it, feel, it sound like he kind of like over, overrunning the beat. Like he little, <laughs> little uh, too too uh, anxious on the beat, like he kind of going off it a little bit, but hey. Number four, an interlude called Circus, featuring Aaron Allen Kane. Love the flow and the melody. Shit just a minute though. Uh, saying how things seem better broke before the records and stuff like that. But that's, that's one I like. Number five, Fearmonger, featuring Dard, they or something? I don't know. They Ood. <laughs> this one gave me uh, Childish Gambino vibes, man Fierce falling back from the position He put himself into, man Like, I done made this money and, and got my career going and stuff, man I fear to lose it all And go back to the hood And this and that And, and stuff, so That's pretty much what he's talking about on this one Number six, Come My Way featuring Crazy Bone Chill vibes, reminiscing about life back in the shy uh, Crazy Bone, he pretty much talking about Staying, staying by this business, not letting haters deter him and stuff. And I think they, they released this song the other day too. I heard this one a while back. Uh, I don't know if they got a video for this one either. I, don't, I, I know I heard these songs, but I'm, I'm not sure if they, I, they had a video. I don't think so. Number seven, still featuring Smino in black. Still can't believe all the shit real, but still had a lot of fucked up ways, man. A lot of fucked up ways and habits that, that I had before. Uh, Smino talks about memories with a lady and he still he still feel the same way about it man like he's still into her like after all the things that they've been through like i really like smino verse whenever you get into what he's talking about like he did his thing number eight a simpler time featuring mariba simple heartbeat for a simpler time like makes sense uh money not the important thing in my life and the simple things he learned from his fam and mariba she dreams to have a simple life Financially stable and breaking generational curses, stuff like that. Number nine, Soldier featuring Pivot Gang. Snap on that first verse. Sound like Andre three, three Stacks talking about having a baby and hoping he could be a good father and stuff. And the war within of of the baby coming and this and that and what will he do and all that. Like the war within itself. Second verse. Second verse talking about. Not one to sign up for the military, like scared to go to war and stuff. Like it's more like direct to the to the point, like a soldier. Like he really talking about military stuff, like scared to go to war and go get killed and this and that. 
or uh, and that's the other the other guy, who, whoever it is. Number ten, if I had a dollar featuring Benjamin Earl Turner, if I had a dollar for every time I fail, I'd be a rich nigga. That's pretty. That's pretty much what the whole song is about. Like just talking about uh, times that he failed in life, like a, a whole bunch of times, and he had to had to try to bounce back. And he'd be rich if he had a dollar for all those moments. Number eleven, stop that. Niggas be too wor worried about what somebody else doing rather than handling their own business. And I had million dollar deals and I turned them shits down, man, multiple times. That's not what moves me in life. So that's pretty much what they're talking about on that joint. Number 12, make me believe, no, make believe, featuring Fouché. He out here chasing his dreams, but missing out on real important things. This shit not all that it seems, like this music shit, like he chased this and he was jealous of people back in the days or something, but now that he in it, it's like, it's not all that. And the things that I was running from and, and taking for granted, like being around my grandmother and stuff like that, like that was the real important things in life. Uh, number 13, 2012, featuring Day Wave, storytelling uh, about the only one he was comfortable with and loved, like... I don't know if he's talking about a lady or if he's talking about music, but he's talking about this girl and they was in the, they was into music and she was into music just as much as him and they had similarities and he was comfortable around her, but he had social anxiety and stuff. Like, I think he was talking about music, man. I don't think it was an actual woman he was talking about. The second verse, or uh, Day Wave or whatever, he is it Day Wave or is it just or is Day Wave just uh, singing on a hook or something? I don't know, I don't remember. But uh, the second second verse talking talking about his niggas, uh, and at the time he really, at the time back in the days he really had everything he needed, cause everybody was still alive and around. So yeah, they wave or whatever he was singing. But uh, the second verse it was still uh Saba. He was still Saba. Had to, had to think about it. number fourteen. A few good things featuring Aaron Allen Kane and Black Thought. Black Thought, hey hey, had fears growing up being the hood, being in the hood, but it wasn't that bad. And I just needed a few things to be happy. It's pretty much what that first verse is from Saba. Black Thought, he talks about his mama and how he's a product of her and all the lessons. And and in life, he's learned that good things, they don't come frequently, man. Like, they only come a little at a time, so appreciate them. And then they have, like, a big, long, dry spell. And, and then it goes into the last verse, and way at the end. And the last verse is talking about... Sabi's talking about his family and how it was coming up and how at the end they flipped a few things, um, a few little things to, to abundance and how he moving, uh, tried to move to the, to the West Coast or whatever to try to have a better life for him and his family. So that's, that's this joint right here, a few good things. Uh, the joints I like is number one, free samples. Uh, number four, an interlude called Circus. Six, Come My Way featuring Crazy Bone. Seven, Steel featuring Smino in Black. Number eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, or uh, fourteen. Like all the rest of them, I I like them, but they don't really have too much. Nothing I love on here. There, there isn't anything I'm be like ooh and be playing it into the ground. Like twenty twelve featuring Day Wave, I really like that one. Fourteen, A Few Good Things featuring Black Thought, like I really like that one. But I don't have too much like love joints on here in the first like one way or every uh one way or every nigga with a budget survivors guilt fear manga i really didn't like them songs at all like so i would give this like a seven i i think he's gonna get him to where he needs to go i think uh it will be the critics gonna gonna love it but like me to in how i love that last album and that's I just, I want that last album, like, but if you want my old shit, listen to my old shit, like, that's mind of an artist, but that one last one was so good, and this one right here, it wasn't nowhere close, nowhere close to that one, but that's just my thoughts, man, so 7 out of 10, like, comment, subscribe, go be the greatest of the most hated man, high me. leave your, your uh, thoughts in the comment section, peace.